welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Sam and in today's video as I'm sure you can guess from the title I'm going to be talking about my New Year's resolutions for 2024 craziness that it's 2024 almost and first off I want to say hello and sorry I've been gone I this is gonna bug me okay I've been gone <laughs> I haven't posted I think on YouTube anyway I've been posting on um, Instagram pretty regularly but I've been gone on YouTube for like almost two weeks which I'm a little bummed about because I really wanted to be super consistent with my uploads um, which is one of the goals I have uh, but anyway I've been gone because uh, I live in Maine if you don't know and I lost power. A lot of us did. I'm pretty sure like the whole state lost power. We had this crazy like tropical storm and I lost power for four days. So that combined with like Christmas and my oldest son's birthday, uh, it's been a lot. So I'm back and like I said, I want to talk today about my New Year's resolutions. I used to be someone who would make them. And then I got into the the thought process that they're a little bit like toxic, you know. Um, I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. I haven't really been in the right kind of mindset to create goals and, you know, to be prepared for if I don't accomplish those goals. Like mentally, I'm just not uh, prepared or, you know, haven't been prepared. And this year, I want to make goals because I really want to make a lot of changes. I have some really high hopes for 2024 and I'm just really, really ready to have some change happen and um, just looking forward to 2024 and all my goals I'm going to share with you guys. So first, I'm going to go with my personal goals like for myself. That's what personal means. And then I want to talk about my career slash professional goals because I have a lot of those as well because I'm excited <laughs> and I mostly wanted to share my goals with you guys because I wanted to be accountable uh, for myself and I also wanted to kind of encourage anyone to just set some frightening goals this year you know I mean I just feel like we've all been through a lot and just feels like it's not going to get any better unless we try, right? So that's that's my thought process. So first of all, my wife got me this planner for Christmas. I've always been a planner gal. I do think I have ADHD. Um, and so I know I've seen a lot of jokes go around that's, you know, about like if you have ADHD, you get a planner and then you just never fill it out. But I am a planner fanatic. I love to make lists. And I have to write stuff down with my mom brain or I will never remember it ever again. It has to be written down. And for me, I have to actually physically write it down. I will make lists on my phone and my notes apps, but notes app, but it has to, I don't know. I, I just always been a planner person and I need it like visually in front of me. Um, I need to have physically written something down to remember things. I just love it. I think it's fun too. It's like therapeutic. So I wrote down my goals in here. Okay, so let's talk about my personal goals. I don't want to sound cliche, but I would really like to lose weight. And trigger warning, I'm going to be talking about weight loss and body image and all of that stuff. I am not the type that can just try to lose weight and make it healthy. I get very obsessive. So this is something I have put off for years now um, and it's just really crept up on me and now I am very uncomfortable and unhappy with my body and just how I feel. So the last time that I have actually like been healthy working out or moving my body, watching what I eat, not, not necessarily dieting but just being healthier about what I eat um, was like 2019. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it's been a long time. It's almost 2024. So that's been like almost five years. <laughs> and, um, so I have three boys and I just had my last son, 
and I don't know my last <laughs> my third son um in 2021 so I have been pregnant and it was right before that was COVID and now am I allowed to say COVID right before that was you know the pandemic are you allowed to even say these words on YouTube I always feel like people like blur them out but uh, anyway so it was pandemic pregnant then like baby after not having a baby for a really long time my oldest just turned 12 my middle is turning 10 in February and my youngest is two so there's a big age gap between my kids uh, my older two and and Frank when I had him it just kind of like hit me <laughs> like like I've been hit by a train and um I don't know if it's because I'm older now or I haven't had a baby in a really long time but mm, my god I'm just still recovering like I'm he's a toddler now so I'm um, now we're like in the toddler phase and I'm like when will I get like some peace <laughs> probably never um so anyway, I was pregnant, then breastfeeding, just, just stopped breastfeeding. And for me, breastfeeding, like, just really messes with my body. Like, it makes me super hormonal. I, I have pretty, I'm pretty sure I had, like, postpartum depression, anxiety, um, and then I just have gained weight. Like, I lost weight when I was pregnant, like, or not lost but like barely gained any weight and then after I had him I gained a ton of weight so it's just been you know when you're breastfeeding you're sitting a lot and you're hungry and I was eating a lot and um, I just haven't taken care of myself so when I say I want to lose weight I want to lose weight I don't even know what I weigh I don't have a scale but I want to lose weight because I feel this extra weight like I'm so sore uh my stomach is like pretty big like for myself I mean I'm a size 20 pants and like an extra large top and typically most of my adult life I've been like a 14 16 so if that gives you any reference like I'm a lot bigger than I have been and I've always been a bigger girl like I've never been a skinny person um but I just feel this weight I feel so gross like I just feel no energy I am tired which is the same thing um I don't feel good mentally and I really feel like it all goes together I feel like if I were to move my body and feel better in my body that my mental health would be better um, when you, you know, work out, you release endorphins and that helps you feel better mentally. And I just have not done anything. I don't move my body at all. And I just want to, my goals are to just move my body, drink more water and eat healthier. Really nothing crazy. Uh, and I also, another goal of mine is to just take care of my health overall. So I, I haven't gone to the eye doctor in like 10 years, at least 10 years. Um, I made an appointment and I have one in April because they're booking out so far. So see how that goes. Uh, I know I need glasses because my left eye, no, my right eye hurts all the time. So anyway, um, and then as far as another personal goal, so my personal goals are to work on my mental health, <laughs> which I think will go along with my physical health. So eating better, losing weight. Uh, I mean, that's really what it comes down to. I don't have an exact number. I'm not going to try to get obsessive about it, but I do need to take some weight off or I need to transform it into muscle. I need to do something, but I just feel not good in my body right now. So those are my personal goals. Um, I mostly have so those are my personal goals. I mostly have career goals, which, you know, bleeds into your personal life. But, well, this, I'm trying this, like, light, and it is very bright in my eyeballs. Um, so let's go over my career slash professional goals because I'm really excited about these. So as of right now, 
my career is I stay home with my son, my toddler Frank, and I have my social media accounts, mostly Instagram, and then I resell vintage goods. So that's like my career. And I make money on social media through brand deals and some affiliate um, links. So I will, let's just dive into this so I can explain. So my first goal is to get monetized on YouTube. I have enough subscribers now, but I need more watch hours. And I love YouTube. And that is where I spend a lot of my time consuming social media. So I really want to make it my main platform that I focus on this year. Um, and that's really where I want to like be like Instagram and YouTube are really like my hubs and um it's taking me so much longer to grow on YouTube than on Instagram it's like insane I have over 40,000 followers on Instagram but on YouTube I only have like a thousand which is a lot like it, it's a lot of people I cannot even thank you if you subscribe to my channel enough I can't thank you enough it's it's like a dream honestly so I have enough subscribers now but I need watch hours so you need 4,000 watch hours I have around 2,000 watch hours so if you guys watch my videos thank you so much but that is my goal is to get monetized on YouTube so that the videos that I make I can make money from them that's the goal I don't have like a month that I have in mind but that's just my goal sometime in 2024 please can I be monetized on YouTube all right <clears throat> goal number two for my career is to get more brand deals I am growing on Instagram and on TikTok now I have almost I have like 8,000 something followers on TikTok um and 40,000 on Instagram and I really want to get some more brand deals. I want to work with brands that I love and just start to expand my income from social media. So through brand deals is one of the ways that I can do that and making sure that they're good brands that I really love and want to share with you guys and all of that. Okay, number three, I want to, this is a big goal of mine. I want to make it so that my wife can leave her job through my social media slash her doing our furniture flipping company again. I started the furniture flipping Instagram page. It's going to be, um, I had a company called Blueberry Vintage Company. Well, I have one for my Etsy shop for my reselling purposes, and that's where we started our furniture with, but I rebranded and called it Blueberry Furniture Company. I'm going to see so anyway, I rebranded, called it Blueberry Furniture Company, and created that Instagram page if you want to go give us a follow over there. And so she has been doing um, commission pieces here and there, but she works full-time at the post office, and I want her to leave the post office and do furniture flipping full-time. And I don't know when that's going to happen or if it will happen, but I really want it to happen next year. And along with that is to grow our social media for the furniture flipping business. So that's a huge, huge, huge goal of mine. Um, my other career goal is to get into affiliate marketing more. I don't really share a lot of affiliate links. Um, I have my LTK, which I put things on there that I like and I recommend to you guys, uh, mostly on my Instagram, but on here too always down in the description box of every video I link my LTK but I don't post a lot there like I know I follow so many um people on social media and they're just constantly sharing links to stuff and I'm really bad at that because I mostly thrift everything and I don't really want to be like one of those influencers that's just like obsessed with consumerism but I also know that you can make a lot of money through affiliate links if you share enough of them and I want to make this my living I want to be able to provide for my family through content creation um, and so I really want to try to post more affiliate links not as like a cash grab 
but definitely things that like I genuinely like I just forget sometimes to create a link and share it so that's something I want to focus more on Ooh, <laughs> this is a really big goal okay I put down I'm dreaming big in 2024 I'm just putting things out there and see what happens so I said I want to have a hundred thousand followers on Instagram by next December by December 2024 so we will see. Uh, it could happen. You know, it could happen. But I don't know. We'll see. My last career goal for 2024 is to replace my reselling income with simply just content creation. So brand deals, affiliate links, um, ad money, things like that. I want to phase out of reselling by the end of next year. I wanted to phase out of reselling sooner but it's been a very vital like part of our income uh, financially for the past couple years, like basically since we bought our house and we tried Renee um, staying home and just furniture flipping, like we tried that and it didn't go well financially and I've learned a lot since then and I think the next time we try it, it'll go better. Um, but since then, we've just been really, really trying to catch up on bills, to be transparent. And so stopping reselling right now is just like not possible. So I love thrifting, so I will never change thrifting on my page, like, like obviously. Um, but I don't necessarily love reselling like I, I do like it I do love talking with you know my customers or just my followers are mostly who buy from me um, and I love sourcing the items and all of that stuff but shipping things out and then like the customer service side of things like if something goes wrong and like I have three kids uh, keeping the boxes in my house keeping all the inventory it's a lot it's a lot more than people realize I think so I don't think it's my journey long term and I've said that before on my channel here but I would like to phase out of reselling by the end of next year so those are all of my goals for 2024 I'm sure I've forgotten some I have like little ones too like I want to read more and things like that um just be present with my kids more always striving for those things but those are the big ones that I wanted to share and make sure you like this video if you like this type of thing if you like just these sit down like talking about goals talking about career and all of that stuff if you have any other ideas for me drop that down below and I hope to get another video out before the end of the year if not happy new year to you guys and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye